What's up, everybody? Spare one gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Elite Dangerous. Um, when we left off in the last episode, we were like, let's go fight a war. And let's use beam labor lasers. And let's go battle stuff. Which worked out really well. Until I logged in today, and the war is over. Darn you, tier two wars. You just, they're just not long enough. They just don't give me enough time to kill things and make money. So then I was like, well, what else can we do? What, what else can I go for? What's my next goal? If I'm not wanting to do another just random bounty episode mission and another war mission. And then it hit me, uh, just to make sure that even though there's no war, let's check and make sure everybody's not in a civil war anymore. Nope. They're all fixed. They're all fine. Um, and I do not see a... I'm a knight and I'm allied, but I don't see a, um, uh, whatchamacallit, one of the advancement missions, whatever they're called. There is one bigger hunter mission here, but I have, I have bigger plans. So as you know, I swapped out last episode my class 3 pulse lasers for a class 2 beam laser. Um, a couple of people were like, that looks really cool, blah, 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 but a few of them mentioned this looks kind of like a lateral move because of the damage that a class 3 can do versus a class 2 of the beams. But the beams are more sustained, yada, yada, yada. It's, it's all apples to oranges, but it sounded like beams do more damage, but I went down a class, so it kind of negates. But then it got me thinking, class 3s. So, naturally, you can see where this is going. Um, I was in discussions with a couple of people in the comments and found a uh, link in the forums. And the forums were basically talking about where to find Class 3 weapons, which was cool. And believe it or not, this one says it's an, an agricultural extraction system, not a high-tech system, but everyone on that forum said that um, it only had one kind of weapon in the station, but, or this system at whatever station it was, they only had one kind of weapon, but it was class 3 beam lasers. Weird. Uh, gimbaled class 3 beam lasers, let's, let's make that very clear. Now, I've set a course here, which is... 13 jumps, not too crazy, but just, just for the sake of making sure I don't fly 60 to 70,000, or not 60,000, 60 to 70 light years away, 13 jumps, only to find out that something happened where they restock stuff. Let's double check and make sure that they don't in fact have it here anymore, because the, the stocks are always changing. That's one thing I found out the hard way a couple of times, is the, the, the kinds of weapons and things are always changing. So let's do beam laser. That's turreted. I don't really want turreted. Well, I mean, I wouldn't... Well, no, I don't want turreted. That's fixed. Burst laser. Pulse laser. Burst laser. Pulse laser. Burst laser. Pulse laser. Beam laser. Class 2E. That's turrets. But because we're class, so yeah, the D2s. Now, one thing that's interesting I want to check, though. The turreted beam laser is, like, class 2. So this is probably going to get pretty expensive, but not over 2 million a pop, because they're not going to be as expensive as uh, turrets. So I'm going to make this, like, 13 jump whatever uh, course or trek, I guess is probably a better. We're going on a Star Trek! Hey! Um, and then I'll come back when we get there and we're gonna check this place out and see if they have it. If they do, we're gonna do some testing, which is always fun. So I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so we have arrived here at Kappa Francis. That's what I'm gonna call it. Um... I have not- I've been here before, but I do not recall the system. Okay, so there's basically one station. Yeah. Harvestport. 
Okay. So we want to go to Harvest Pot. Are we already headed in the right direction? No, we're heading in the wrong direction. I wanted to let it go just so the throttle would build up and it wouldn't take us as long to get over here. Okay, so I'm still playing around with the, um, the, um, um, yep. Mm -hmm. Beam laser power system here and what I can and can't have on in combination. I do know I can have my Warrant and Interdictor on with both of these, but it puts me at 99, so if I go to a class 3, I probably won't be able to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and turn both of those off. Oh, jeez. Crap, 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 crap. I'm not going to be able to make this. Nope. Blew right past it. Because um, I need to turn my... I don't need to, but I really, really want to turn my docking computer on, just because it's so much easier. Um, let's just turn like one of them off for now. We'll just see how that treats us. Alright, slow it down a bit. I'm really going to laugh if this actually ends up panning out, because it's so true that you would go to like high-tech stations. Everyone's telling me go to high-tech stations and all this kind of stuff. And this is like agricultural, but I read on the forums that everybody that went here said it was said they had them. So I would assume we are about to find out. And you know what? Depending on where this drops me in at, I may just dock myself. Possibly, because if it puts us out at a decent location and I'm not like on the back of the ship or some or back of the station or anything like that. I can actually dock faster than this computer for a station. I just have to like fly right through the little hangar door. Come on, man. Yeah, that's not bad. I think I'm just gonna do it myself. Um, let's turn our computer off and then we'll turn our other beam laser back on. Not because we need it, just because it's easier to kind of see, give me an idea of what we'll need power-wise. Yeah, I like the docking computer mostly because I can, like, go grab a drink or something or go to the bathroom or something and just, like, let my com let my ship dock itself. It's great. But if we're really being honest, I mean, yeah, I can hands down dock way better than that computer. I think it's funny that it's, like, a standard docking computer. I wonder if eventually they're going to come out with, like, an advanced docking computer that's, like, it can go from further... Or, I don't know, like something interesting that would be kind of cool. To where it's like, I don't know, it'll dock really far or like super smooth, never runs into anything. You know, like just random crap. See, like that. Boom. We're done. Um, I do have to refuel though, gosh. I don't even know what, like, station we're at. Let's check the hull integrity. Gosh! 98%? It's like, what did I do? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what, is, what cost me 11 grand just now to, like, repair what? I mean, I know it was super cruising and everything, but still. Like, come on, guys. Alright, so we're in fed space. Because I <laughs> finally got to redeem those bounties. Alright, outfitting. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Please be here. And be cheap. Here and cheap. That's all I want. <laughs> here and cheap enough that I can buy them. And it won't, like, break, bake my... the bake my brink. That happened. It's late. Leave me alone, please. Dollar fixed! That sucks. Alright, what is the power consumption? Wow, it goes up 0.7. Ugh. Ugh. 0.7. Why'd they have to be fixed? The even the thing in the um the forum said they were gimbaled. Dang it. I don't 
don't want fixed weapons. I hate fixed weapons so much. Though beams wouldn't be too bad. And they do a lot more damage, don't they? Like, what do these do? Five, and these do one, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. That power draw, though. That's intense. I'm way over, like, my deployed power limit. Um, some people were asking me about, like, you should upgrade your power plant. I can't, by the way. Because I can only carry a class 4 reactor bay and I have an A4 power supply. So, that's kind of not going anywhere. Um, I suppose everything draws more power. I can't find a, a way to reduce my power draw without sacrificing something else. Like, I wonder... If I were to... So I don't know how much the power draw is. Where's the... Compare. So the standard docking computer draws 0.39 power. That's kind of significant, but not too bad. This one's 0.18. I suppose, if anything, I would get rid of, like, one of my shield boosters, because these things eat power alive. What's the power draw? 1.2. They're almost as bad as my gimbal lasers. Um, but they also raise it by... Multiplier is... They also give it, like, 20% strength, so I've got, like, I've upped my shield strength by 40% by having those. Oh, gosh. I kind of want class 3 beam lasers, but I hate fixed. I hate them so much. I don't know. I am really surprised that they're even here, to be honest. That's kind of weird. I hope everything works okay. I just pulled on my mic cord. I hope that didn't, like, jack anything up. And this is interesting, too, that when you go to the turreted weapons, they actually go down. So they're, like, 20 million for... for D3. And they're actually Ds? Do I have Ds? Is that what I'm using right now? Oh, I do. Okay. So they go up a class and they go down in, in attack. Well, they don't really go down. No, they don't actually go down. It's that stupid, like, it says it's down, but it's really not thing. Hmm. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. So really, it's costing me about like seven, like one point three mil or something overall. I'm gonna do it. Let's see what happens. I can always sell them and buy back my class twos, I guess. Oh, good lord! Look at that piece of work. And they're C's, too. That's, like, another amazing feat right there. Oh, my power draw, though. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some serious power management. 18.9 on a 15.6 power supply. Ugh. Ugh. But they look so beast. Look at that. Look at it. Okay. And because this is a stupid, like, agricultural place, I can't really get anything else, I don't think. Alright, power management. <laughs> Everything is off. Actually, this isn't too bad, though. Oh, things are starting to try. Let's, um... I don't know if I want to go back to the surface or not. Is there anything else around here? There's a nav beacon we could check out for some bounties, maybe. Is there an extraction site? No. So nothing really good here. And we're back in fed space too. Ew. So... 11%. Good lord. 11%. I could drop my thrusters down, I guess, to like a... A D5 or something instead of a C5, but I don't want to do that. So cargo hatch we can leave off for now. We don't really use that that much. 
docking computer's like 2%. Oh, wow. <laughs> I just realized that everything I would normally turn off is already off. Ooh, this is bad. Alright, what? Uh, 98. Gosh. Which means... The docking computer I'm not really worried about. I could turn my... Um... I could just turn one of my lasers off when I want to dock or something. Like, I'm not really worried about that. I want to make sure that my... Oh. Oh, that's 98, not 96. Crap. So I can't really have both of these on. I could do, like, one or the other. Dang it, man. And if I have both of them on, it's, like, one, 106. Can you even operate like that? Like, will that work? I wonder. Sensors, life support, frame shift drive. That's not my thrusters. So I could actually turn that off, but then that makes it very difficult to leave. I don't actually know if I can use these. Tell you what, let's, um... Let's check this stuff. Just for anything worth doing. No, not really. It's all cargo related. Alright, so at the risk of, like, overheating my ship and dying, <laughs> let's find out if I can actually fly like this. Because I might have to make some power changes. I think if I got rid of, honestly, if I I dread the thought. But if I got rid of my shield boosters... Ugh, I'm already, like, dreading that idea. But if I got rid of my shield boosters, I could actually probably do it. Ugh, so bad. I'm hoping that as long as I can operate with a relative degree of power drainage... Like, my heat's going down and stuff, so I'm not super worried about that. But, like, as long as everything still works, even though I'm at 106, I don't really care. I just don't want things to, like, turn off at the drop of a hat because I start using things. So that's why I want to test this. I want to get out here past the no-fire zone and do some weapons testing to see what it does. Because I might... Oh, jeez. So deploying it... Oh, I see. Okay. So I probably am gonna have to get rid of one of my boosters. Okay, I'm, I'm set to engines. This is how I normally run combat. So one nice thing is I run out of beam before before I actually overheat. That's good. Now... Gosh, I can't... I can't have my warrant scanner on. That's bad. Uh, I hate that. I hate doing that. Oh, I want those at one, actually. But, yes, I'm turning both of them off for now. And then I can actually have all three of these running at one time. Without my shield boosters. Now, of course, there is the system... This is something I'd like to know from, from you guys. Is it possible to have... Let's check out the nav beacon for a minute. I'm not going to go anywhere crazy right now. Well, how far am I from, like, an extraction place? Artemis is industrial extraction. Is there a... Is there a... There's no planet there. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Where am I? I'm in Kappa Rara or whatever. <laughs> or whatever. Um, 
Yeah, they have... It's a gas giant, but it should have... Right, you... They have rings. Rings almost always have extraction sites. Metallic ring. Um, really? It's not going to give me the ring detail? Okay, so this one probably has a resource site. I don't know. I might just check out the nav beacon for now. It's, it's like... Nope, didn't mean to do that. Whatever. What planet was that? I'll have to figure out if I'm on my way to... I'm here. So the nav beacon is probably the other direction, but four might have something. The next closest, the one is seven. I don't want to go that far out. Yeah, because seven's way down here. But it probably does have an extraction site. Six, four... Oh, four's a star. That's partially probably why seven's actually a planet okay I see I see what's going on now okay let's go to the nav beacon okay so on my way to the nav beacon I found this strong signal source that I kind of want to try this might be dumb how much money do I have okay I have plenty to rebuild my ship if I die <laughs> that's kind of my thing I want to make sure that I can rebuild my ship as long as I have enough money in my ship, I don't, uh, or in my account to do like a rebuild if I die, I don't mind doing stupid, crazy things. Um, because usually, the, every time I've gone to a strong signal source, it's always like cargo, and then it's a trap, and you're like, oh great. Because that's probably not the best place to go when you've lost forty percent of your shields. And don't know what's if you're like capable of handling yourself, kind of thing. Whoa, guys! I'm like run into you. Whoa, there are some big ships in here. You're wanted. I'm scanning you. <laughs> He's like, I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. Wow, it's taking forever to scan him too. All right. Moment of truth. Let's try this out. Oh my goodness! Whoa. Ooh. Fixed weapons suck. Okay. Oh my gosh. I might not need to worry about the extra thing. Good lord. These things eat through everything. This guy's already at like 70%. Find a power plant. Whoa, dude! Does this guy have guns? Like, is he gonna attack me at all? Oh, cargo! He's dropping cargo? I might be able to black market it. Gosh, I do not like fixed weapons. You guys gotta help me out and gotta get me some gimbaled ones. If I could gimbal these... Oh my goodness. 88 grand?! Heck yeah! I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, let's let's scan some more people. Holy crap! If all of them are wanted, I'm just gonna bank off of this so so much. Please be wanted. Dang it! What about you? Somebody's gotta be wanted in this this mess of people. Why are people deploying hard points if you're not wanted? What do you got to hide? I mean, come on, guys. Alright, I already scanned you. Sideway- they're coming up green, are they Empire? Come on. You could at least tell me if you're- I feel like I'm flying faster. I don't know if the- something about the shield boosters like weighed me down or something. I don't know. That might just be my illusion. So nobody else, huh? What is this other one that's like flipping out over here? No, I, 
guess I already hit that one too. All right, eighty-eight thousand. That's kind of awesome. So I guess we'll head back to the nav beacon or try to. Oh, I can't do navigation while I'm charging. Okay. But yeah, I'm almost thinking as long as I don't take too many hits, that is probably worth the sacrifice of the shield boost. And I could... I suppose if, if crap really started hitting the fan, I could disable them. I, like, I could like retract my hard points and turn on my boosters, maybe? I don't know if that would work. Like, I'm actually not sure if that would do anything or not. Alright, so I'm going to head back over to the Nab Beacon. Um, unless I find a signal or something along the way that I want to investigate. Okay, so I'm dropping out into an unidentified signal source. Oh dear lord, it's an anaconda. Oh, and he's wanted. We got an explorer, explorer. They're not part of the a wing or anything though. <laughs> you gotta go. Somebody else is scanning me. As long as they're not like part of the anaconda, I don't really care. I really shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> this might not be smart. Oh wow. Just wow. I just gotta watch my shields and make sure that I don't end up falling prey to the same problem. Because I gotta remember <laughs> I've lost like 40% of my shield strength now. Good lord though. At the intensity of these beams. I really don't like having fixed weapons. I really want to get through their hull and see what it does to an anaconda, because this is going to be interesting. Oh my gosh! Yeah! Okay, my shields are definitely taking damage from this, though. What I might end up doing is getting rid of my docking computer and doing more like a, um... Oh! Jeez! Um, doing like a shield cell bank, maybe. And getting rid of my two boosters and see if I can manage the power on that. Ouchie! Back off me, dude. One thing I do miss is targeting, like, to do power plants and stuff. That... that kind of sucks that I can't do that right now. But just eating through hull integrity is kind of amazing. You know what, let's just put everything in here for now. I'm definitely... See, part of the problem is the gimbals I could get on track faster. Wow, they're like all fighting amongst themselves, that's interesting. The gimbals I could get on track faster. And so because of that, I could recover and hit, do more damage quicker. Which is kind of cool. I could also target the lower, or the sub, sub, bleh, sub targeting type of thing. Which I can't do right now, which is a little unfortunate. I'm also a little concerned of how this would work on fighters, because right now I've got a big old target to hit. But on little fighters and stuff, I don't know how well this would work. Gosh, my shields are taking a pounding from this. I mean, yes, he's at 24% hull integrity, and it is working very well, but uh, anacondas are still a little bit of a piece of work to take on right now. There we go, right there. So it looks like I'm almost getting about 10% hull integrity with each burst, like full burst of my beams. Which is pretty amazing. Oh, come on. About those shields. I'm about to lose mine, actually. Actually. 
See, that's the only thing, is like, being able to gimbal my, my lasers. I was also- dude, lay off me for a second. I was also able to, like, fire while flying by and stuff. Which I can't really do right now. Come on, dude, you're like at 10%. Just die already. Ooh, I got a blind spot here, apparently. Under attack. I'm gonna run into this guy. Yeah, there's a blind spot, like, right behind him. I wonder if I took out his engines. So technically, we did not lose our shields, which is kind of cool. Also, I think somebody in this mess has, like, killed some people, and there's just stuff laying around now. Which is interesting. Um, what's going on over here, anyway? There's, like, blips, but... There's a target. Swiss mercenary, huh? Let's see what you can give me. Let's see if we can actually fight something a little more nimble with fixed weapons. That's gonna be the real kicker type thing. Though I will say, these things just, like, have fun with shields. Then you can kind of just fire them and let people fly into them, which is cool. Cool! Like, I feel like a welder or something. Like, I'm just welding through their ship. Oh, I miss. If I could get these in Gimbled, I would just die. Like, I, th I feel like I would just own this game. Not in a terms of, like, I could take anybody, but just, like, have so much fun and nothing would be a challenge. It would be amazing. Got too much in my throttle. I gotta pull back some. Hey, my target! My target! Oh wait, no, that was him. He was shooting at me. Okay, that's fine. You're gonna die soon. This is not the end. No, no, I'm pretty sure it is. Target destroyed. Pretty sure it is. Don't want to fight a cobra. Don't want to fight a viper right now. Oh, these are system authority guys. Let's get back into this area and see what else is going on. If it's just this Cobra, I think I'm gonna leave if it's all system people. Wow, lots of system authority guys. Who's scanning me? Oh, it's probably one of these guys. One of like the billion system authority dudes over here. Look at them all. That's ridiculous. Why do you need this many system authority guys? You, you already- you're late for the anaconda. The anaconda's already dead. So all these guys are just system authority dudes. That's intense. Yeah. Me and my little vulture took out the anaconda guys. Go team. Alright, so let me know what you guys think. Which one is- better, which one you prefer, all that good stuff. In the meantime, I think we're gonna wrap things up for this episode with our 200 grand plus in like five minutes, which was awesome. Um, and I think we're gonna end things for this episode. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Where is the station? There it is. I'll see you all next time. Peace!